follow up to this important event. The Nigeria Energy Support Program NESP aims to promote investment in domestic markets for renewable energy, energy efficiency, and rural electrification projects. Hence, the objective is to provide and supply power to rural communities that are not connected to the national grid. This project term solar mini grids are variable below one megawatt capacity and have been less tenders of footprints. However, there are areas of concern related to solar mini grid projects that include land acquisition, waste management of used batteries, livelihood changes, lifestyle changes with displaced habitation biodiversity spaces. The Federal Ministry of Environment, together with the program, the NES, formulated the draft guidelines for the Simplified Environmental and Social Management Plan. Uh, and, and these are applicable to solar mini-grid projects. So we hope that this development will drive more investments into the solar mini-grid sector through the reduced costs and in time of approval, which I understand now should be within six months. Let me then take this opportunity to congratulate the Federal Ministry of Environment on this achievement. Thank you for your attention. I would want to mention that this is a very strong collaboration between GIZ and the Ministry of Power and so many other NDAs and can only or is only possible through the financial support through the European Union with currently 35 million euros in this phase and the German government with currently 30 million euros in this phase. I am particularly hopeful, we at NESP are particularly hopeful that this will be a new era for the renewable energy industry in the country. It will be important to state that this document is a welcome development in the renewable energy sector because this will aid the sustainability of the many grids that have been developed all over the country. It is also important to state that this will boost the energy access in the country in line with the Ministry's uh, Electricity Vision 303030 which targets to achieve 30,000 megawatts by the year 2030 with at least 30% coming from the renewables. Nigeria is rich in resources. One of these resources is UV solar. And Nigeria needs to exploit this. But in exploiting this, we must do this in a responsible manner. Today we are all seated here to launch a guideline. Guidelines will give us an opportunity for standards will give us an opportunity for uniformity. Guidelines would ensure that we are not exploiting these natural resources in an irresponsible manner. I foresee a time in Nigeria, especially in the urban areas, where almost every house will have solar panels on their roofs. Thank you very much. Well, the, this document here, this tool, is going to make uh, renewable energy very... It will ease all kind of issues that will come up in the renewable energy. Because as we all know in Nigeria today, all what we aspire to do in Nigeria is electricity. So this um, mini-grid is, is what the, our office is encouraging people to come into. And this guideline that we are launching today is a guideline that will help in preparing specific management plans in order to adhere to environmental compliance. And uh, I want to state at this moment that NASP, GSZ uh, are actually doing a great work. Two years ago, I remember 
we work together with them. We come up with the guidelines for installation of solar mini grid in Nigeria, which has really helped us a lot in our processes from application, uh, inspection of certification. And we at NENSA, we are ready to actually collaborate with the Minister of Environment in areas where we can come in to ensure and ensure the implementation of this document which we are launching today. You can do all the Jojo, you know, do go high flyer, talk about all the international protocols and conventions and everything, but when it comes to implementing them on the ground, who is going to do it? It's the environmental and social safeguards people which my department represents. So that means that from the beginning to the end, we should factor in all the negotiations because we're at the end of the day, we will be the ones to practicalize you know, these steps. Thank you very much for coming for this guideline launch.